Right, we're going to be doing some dimensions on this 10-3 uh, drawing. And the idea here is the arrows that we are going to be using are slightly different from the mechanical drawing arrows, and that's what I really need to show you. Um, when you're doing this, you take your 0.3 pencil, and you're going to draw a, an extension line out, which doesn't touch the thing. It's got a millimeter gap there. Same story over here. Extension line out, also a millimeter gap before, the, before you touch. And you're going to draw a line, which is going to, I'm just going to extend that line out, and you'll see why. Um, over here, you take your 45 degree set square, and you draw a little five millimeter dash going like that and like that. After that, you can then draw in some construction lines like that. And then you're going to come along here and you're going to measure off. I like to use a pair of dividers while measuring. I find it's much more accurate. So I measure off on the drawing with my pair of dividers. I go to my ruler over here and it says that that is 25 millimeters. Right, so this is a scale. One is to 10 drawing, which means whatever I measured there, I just add a zero onto it because I'm multiplying by the scale in order to get what that thing is. So I said it was 25 millimeters. I'm going to write my 25, note the orientation of the writing, 25 millimeters, and I add a zero. So it, in real life, that is 250 millimeters in thickness for that thing. Uh, the next thing, I need to give the, per the guy that's busy um, drawing a, using this drawing, I need to tell him the height to the natural ground level. So I draw another 45 degree going over there and I draw in some construction lines again. And I'm going to measure off that distance. That distance over there from there to there. I'm going to measure that over here, that is 30 millimeters. So over here, I must write in 30, and because it's a scale one is to 10 drawing, that is 300 millimeters going from the top of that foundation up to natural ground level. The next measurement that you need to do is to show a measurement going to the bottom of that slab. Okay, please note, you are using a 0.3 pencil over here. Um, the reason why you want a 0.3 pencil is that you need to show, you need to show where you are measuring to, but you also don't want people to go, hang on, do I need to build something there because there's a nice thick line there? So there should be a difference between the line, um, the line thickness between, say, the out, outlines and your dimension line that you've got there, the extension uh, for your dimension line. Right, after you've done that, you're then going to do a little line over there. You then measure that off from there to there. And you are then going to measure that. That's 20 millimeters. So I can now write in over here 20 millimeters and add another zero. So that's 200 millimeters from natural ground level to there. Note the measurements over here. I'm writing what it is in real life. And the last dimension that you need to draw in is this measurement up to the finished floor level over there. Put in your little dash over here. And I'm just going to draw my construction line so that my writing is all the same height. And I'm going to measure that off. Measure that quickly over there. That is 10 millimeters. So I've got 100 millimeters over there. 100 millimeters. Right, the last dimension that I need to do, I need to come down to the bottom over here and I'm going to draw a line going, an extension line going over there. I'm going to draw a line, it should be, it should be 10 millimeters away from whatever you're dimensioning. They did not leave me enough space here to do that. So what I'm doing here is not exactly right. Put your little 45 degree arrows, okay, one millimeter above, draw the construction lines, there we go, and I can now measure that off, there we go, that is 70, so I've got 700 millimeters over here.
Note the dimensions are always in the middle of the dimension line, wherever you're writing it in. And that is everything that you need to do on that drawing. Quickly continuing here, I want to put the dimension in for the, uh, the thickness of the wall. Remembering that we have got a brick at the top here. So um, I've got two bricks next to each other. And those two bricks next to each other would be 110 plus 110, which gives us a thickness of wall of 220 millimeters. Sorry. Keep those uh, dashes going in the same direction. And you can write in 220 millimeters. Right. Please note, you never ever write millimeters after any of these dimensions we all know that these drawings are all done in millimeters anyway so you don't need to write in the units